In this video, I'm going to be doing some pistol training for beginners. However, some tips may be useful for more experienced shooters. I'm going to be using a replica Glock 17 because this is the same as my service pistol that I use. The reasons that I'm going to use a replica pistol is it is inexpensive, it is non-lethal, so if you do make a mistake, which I will get to later, you're not going to hurt anybody. And also, it has a low felt recoil, so you're less likely to develop a flinch. First things first, eyes and ears. Now, you've walked up to this pistol, you don't know what state it's in, so what we're going to do is we're going to check that it's clear. Put it up with your finger outside of the trigger guard, you're going to lock the slide open. And in your head, you're going to say to yourself, chamber, magazine, and you can do it twice. It makes you, makes you look at them and it makes you remember. So you go chamber, magazine, chamber, magazine. Now I know that that pistol is clear. Return the slide, fire off the action. Now we've checked it clear. When you're on a range, rifles aren't so bad because they're quite big and you're generally holding them in two hands. The biggest problem I see with pistols is let's say someone goes, AJ, and you turn around with the pistol. So what I want you to do is I want you to learn to revolve around the pistol. This stays pointing in a safe direction down the range and you will simply revolve around the pistol. Now, back onto trigger finger. If you are not intending on firing the pistol, the finger stays out of the trigger, okay? Because even if it's loaded, that is effectively safe because it shouldn't go off on its own. It is only dangerous when your finger goes in there. Another thing with trigger finger is when you're holstering the pistol. What I've seen so many times, and you'll see all over the internet, are pictures of where people have shot themselves in the leg or the foot when they're holstering the pistol. So what you should do, over-exaggerate. I don't put my pistol in the holster. I allow the weight of it to drop itself in. If it hasn't made a click, you simply push it down with your thumb. And that is now secure.